Stephen Roche is a former Irish professional road racing cyclist. In a 13-year professional career, he peaked in 1987, becoming the second of only two cyclists to win the Triple Crown of Victories in the Tour de France and the Giro d'Italia stage races, plus the World Road Race Championship. Roche's rise coincided with that of fellow Irishman Sean Kelly. Although one of the finest cyclists of his generation and admired for his peddling style, he struggled with knee injuries and never contended in the Grand Tours post-1987. He had 58 professional career wins. All of these wins still stand, despite Roche having been accused by an Italian judge of taking EPO in the later part of his career. Early life and amateur career on completion of his apprenticeship as a machinist in a Dublin dairy and following a successful amateur career in Ireland with the Oil Wheelers Club coached by Noel O'Neill of Dundrum, Roche joined the Athletic Club de boulogne billinault amateur team in Paris to prepare for the 1980 Olympic Games in Moscow. Soon after his arrival Roche won the amateur Parisa Euro Rubex, escaping with Dirk Demel and sprinting to victory on the track at Rubex. Roche was told by his director Sportif that if he did not win he would be sent home to Ireland that day. He also finished on the podium at the early season Paris a Euro EZY road race and finished 14th overall in the C-Link International Stage race which was won by Bob Downs. However, a knee injury caused by a poorly fitted shoe plate led to a disappointing ride in Moscow, where he finished 45th. However, on return to France, August to October saw Roche win 19 races. That led to a contract with the Peugeot professional cycling team for 1981. Professional career, Roche scored his first professional victory by beating Bernard Inault in the Tour of Corsica. Less than a month later he won Parisa Euro Nice despite illness following the descent from Mont Ventoux and finished his debut season with victories in the Tour de Corse. Circuit de Loire and de Permel Toil des Espoirs races with a second place behind an alt in the Grand Prix des Nations. In total, his debut yielded 10 victories. In 1982 his best performance was second in the Amstel Gold race behind Jan Ross, but his rise continued in 1983 with victories in the Tour de Romandie, Grand Prix de Wallonie, a Permel Toil des Espoirs and Paris a Euro Burgess. In the 1983 Tour de France, Roche finished 13th and he finished the 1983 season with a bronze medal in the World Cycling Championship at Altraheim in Zurich. In 1984, riding for La Redette following contractual wrangles with Peugeot he repeated his Tour de Romandie win, won Nice Alassio, suburb de and was second in Paris a Euro Nice. He finished 25th in that year's Tour de France. In 1985, Roche won the Crete Copyright Riem International, the Route du Sud and came second in Paris a Euro Nice and third in Lea Gay Euro based Ognia Euro Lea GE. In the 1985 Tour de France Roche won stage 18 to the Orbisque and finished on the podium in third position, 4 minutes and 29 seconds behind winner Bernard in Alt. Equals chronic knee injury equals in 1986 at a six-day event with UK professional Tony Doyle at Paris-Bercy, Roche crashed at speed and damaged his right knee. This destroyed his 1986 season at new team Carrera in Oxbrun with little to show other than second in a stage of the gyro. Roche finished the 1986 Tour de France 48th, 1 hour 32 m behind Greg Lemond, a tour that Roche described as like entering a dark tunnel of pain. The injury and then associated back problems recurred throughout his career and a series of operations appeared to only address direct or consequential symptoms of the core injury. Later non-surgical intervention under Dr. Hans Wilhelm Ma one quarter Lerwo Hofart in Munich made some difference but the injury required constant care. By the end of his career Roche was unable to compete at his best because of back problem which led to a loss of power in the left leg. In retirement he described riding the 1993 Tour de France just for fun. He finished 13th, riding for Claudio Cagliapucci. Equals 1987 Triple Crown equals, in 1987, Roche had a tremendous season. In the spring, he won the Volta a la Sumunit at Valenciana, taking a third victory in the Tour de Romandie in fourth place plus a stage win in Paris a Euro Nice. He also finished second in Lea Gay Euro based Ognia Euro Lea GE, 
the closest he got to winning a professional monument classic. He blamed it on tactical naivete copyright and riding like an amateur. In the Giro d'Italia, Roche took three stage wins en route to overall victory and became the first Giro victor from outside mainland Europe. Roche's stage wins that year in the Giro were Stage 1b, the 8 km time trial downhill on the Poggio into San Remo and Stage 22, a 32 km individual time trial into St. Vincent. Despite his stage wins, the race is remembered for the stage from Lido di Zolo to Sapida, where Roche, contravening team orders, broke away alone early and despite being caught late in the race, had the strength to go with a counter-attack and take the pink jersey from his teammate Roberto Vizzantini, who had been previously leading the classification. His behavior in the stage gained him the typhus's hatred. It was said the only member of his team that Roche could rely on not to ride against him was his domestique Eddie Shepers, although Roche recruited Panasonic riders and old ACBB teammates Robert Miller and Australian Phil Anderson to protect him with Shepers on the Marmolada climb. Roche finished the Giro exhausted but favorite for the Tour de France. Following Bernard Hinault's retirement, Laurent Fignon's choppy form and with Greg Lemond injured following an accidental shooting while hunting, the 1987 Tour was open. It was also one of the most mountainous since the war, with 25 stages. Roche won the 87.5 km individual time trial stage 10 to Futuroscope and came second on stage 19. On the next stage, crossing the Galibia and Madeleine and finishing at La Plan, Roche attacked early, was away for several hours but was caught on the last climb. His nearest rival Pedro Delgado then attacked. Despite being almost one and a half minutes in arrears midway up the last climb, Roche pulled the deficit back to four seconds. Roche collapsed and lost consciousness and was given oxygen. When asked when revived if he was okay, he replied Ui. My Pada femt out de suite. The yellow jersey changed hands several times with Charlie Matet, Roche, Jean from a section while Bernard and Delgado all wearing it before Roche used the final 35 km time trial to overturn a half minute gap and win the tour by 40 seconds, which was at the time the second narrowest margin. Roche became only the fifth cyclist in history to win the tour and the gyro in the same year. He was also the only Irishman to win the Tour de France. Irish Tower Sage Charles Horfe joined Roche on the podium on the Champs of Permil Lizard Copywriters. Later that year, with victory at the World Road Race Championship in Villach in Austria, Roche became only the second to win the Triple Crown of Cycling. Roche arrived with insufficient training although he worked during the 23 lap, 278 km undulating terrain for his teammate Sean Kelly and escaped in the race winning break only while covering for his countrymen. With Marino Argentin in the following group, Kelly did not chase and as the brake slowed and jostling for position began for a sprint, Roche attacked 500m from the finish and crossed the line with meters to spare. Victory in the season-long Super Prestige Pernil International competition was assured. Roche was given the Freedom of Dublin in late September 1987. Several days later the 1987 edition of the Nissan Classic began and Roche rode strongly to finish second behind Kelly. Equals post-1987 career equals. At the close of 1987, Roche moved to Fargo MBK, bringing English riders Sean Yates and Malcolm Elliott, 1984 Tour de France King of the Mountains winner Robert Miller and Domestique Eddie Shepherds. The team was criticized for containing too many English speakers. The 1988 season began badly with a recurrence of the knee injury and Roche began a gradual decline. In 1989 he again took second in Parisa Euronice and the Setmana Catalana de Ciclisme. Roche finished the 1989 Giro d'Italia ninth behind Laurent Fignon. During the 1989 Tour de France, Roche withdrew due to his knee. There were problems with his team in and he changed again. In 1990, Racing for Histra Sigma, he won the four days of Dunkirk and 1991 riding for Roger de Vlaeminx Tun Tun Tappy brought victories in the Set Mana Catalana de Ciclisme and Creta Copyright Realm International. In the 1991 Tour de France, Roche missed the start for his team's team time trial and was forced to withdraw due to controversially missing the time cut. In the Grand Tours, he was ninth in the 1989 Giro 
and won a stage of the 1992 Tour de France in appalling conditions into La Berboule and en route to a final ninth place. Riding the last edition of the Nissan Classic Tour of Ireland, Roche was in many breaks but finished fifth. A year later, he was again ninth in the 1993 Giro d'Italia and thirteenth in the 1993 Tour de France. Roche retired at the end of an anonymous 1993 which yielded a single win, in the post-Tour de France criterium at Chateau Chinon. Alleged doping In May 1990, Paul Kimmage a former professional, Farga teammate of Roche and a fellow Dubliner published an account of life in the peloton. His book Rough Ride exposed drug use apparently endemic in the peloton but spoke in fawning terms about Roche. Publication resulted in a threat of litigation from Roche. It was reported in the Rome newspaper, La Repubblica, in January 2000 that Francesco Conconi, a professor at the University of Ferrara involved with administering erythropoietin to riders on the Carrera team with which Roche had some of his best years, had provided riders including Roche with EPO. Roche denied the allegations. This was further reported in the Irish Times several days later, Roche again denying EPO. In March 2000 the Italian judge Franca Oliva published a report detailing the investigation into sports doctors including Conconi. This official judicial investigation unequivocally found that Roche was administered EPO in 1993, his last year in the peloton. Files part of the investigation allegedly detail a number of aliases for Roche including Ricky, Rossi, Rocca, Juan Katie, Rigai and Rossini. In 2004 Judge Oliva again alleged that Roche had taken EPO during 1993 but due to the statute of limitations, neither Roche nor his teammates at Carrera would be prosecuted. Personal life Roche lives in Antibes on the Cartier Dizza. Roche remained involved in the sport by founding cycling camps in Mallorca, by taking part in race organizations and working as a commentator on cycling events for Eurosport. He has four children with his former wife Lydia. The couple divorced in 2004. One son, Nicholas Roche, is now a professional with Team Sky, and was the 2009 Irish National Road Race champion. Stephen's brother Lawrence Roche was also a professional cyclist who completed his only Tour de France in 1991. They were teammates on the Tam Tam Tappy team. Roche's nephew Daniel Martin is also a professional cyclist and was the 2008 Irish National Road Race champion. Roche completed the 2008 ING New York Marathon in a time of 4.21 and 9 seconds. Palmara S. Equals Grand Tours General Classification Results Timeline Equals, WD Equals Withdrew, Equals Did Not Compete. References Further reading, Roche, Stephen. Born to Ride, The Autobiography of Stephen Roche. London, Random House. ISBN 978-0-224-09189-3. Retrieved November 2, 2013. Roche, Stephen. My Road to Victory. Stanley Paul. ISBN 978-0-09-173738-2. Retrieved November 2, 2013. External links, Stephen Roche Profile at Cycling Archives, Official Tour de France Results for Stephen Roche, Stephen Roche's Cycling Camp in Mallorca, Stephen Roche's Charity Cycling Race.